If you want to know if Thrawn and Liberty is the right MMO for you, then watch till the end. Thrown in Liberty is definitely your game if you enjoy in-depth graphics with an enormous field of view. For a free-to-play title, they have definitely stepped over the line and presented a masterpiece here, even allowing you to whale watch a unique species. Thrown in Liberty is for you if you like to have a social guild life and participate in activities as a team. Especially in regards to PvP, Throne and Liberty is offering massive PvP battles of up to 3000 players in the Castle Siege event, where the guilds can fight over who has the biggest on the server. But this also means that Throne and Liberty is not for solo players. The endgame loop of activities that you can do solo is limited to like 30-ish minutes daily and none of the solo content is more exciting than like daily contract quests and the farm event every 3 hours. The game is clearly designed to cater to team players. Throne and Liberty is therefore only your 2024 MMORPG if you enjoy PvP. Similar to solo content, they have a clear path of where they want the game to be heading. And while they do offer a nice PvE experience with countless dungeons and raids that even receive regular updates, all endgame content and rankings are based on team PvP events, and I truly believe that you will not have long-term fun in the game as a PvE-only player. Throne and Liberty is for you if you enjoy a fighting system that can fluently switch between action combat and tech targeting, and combines the benefit of both versions. Getting to correct setting though is a bit tough. I have already created a guide to you to assist your own global launch experience, so don't worry. Just go and subscribe and get access to the channel and all the future guides will be yours. Throne and Liberty is definitely not for you if you enjoy smooth jump and run or obstacle courses. They try to implement climbing with hooks and many skill checks for obstacle courses and I think they failed miserably here. It's so clunky and buggy that I was really happy it's only a small part in the storyline and not part of the endgame experience. Throne and Liberty is definitely your game of choice if you enjoy games that constantly offer you new events. The dedicated daily event schedule is already packed and on top of this you have weekly rotating boss fights as well as monthly long-term events. But you will hate Throne and Liberty if you're looking for a nice gathering and crafting experience. Their system is so straightforward that you can't choose any unique pathways. Gathering in general is besides a really small use case completely useless, as you drop all materials in a higher quantity from monsters as well. On top of that, crafting is no possible source of income as the materials can be not traded. I know this is due to preventing the materials from being boarded, but their design solution here is defeating the purpose of a crafting system. They should have rather worked with random locations, high acro mob density and mini games to prevent the bots from harvesting the materials. On the other hand, they again have created something which I thought was impossible. They actually made a collection system that should satisfy all completionists. It's no shit really designed so the items can be found. They put lots of thoughts in which paths people will actually take besides the roads on the map. And if you pay attention to your surroundings, you will find the pages in the codex and it actually feels like a really nice progression compared to a pain in the ass searching task. You are also going to enjoy Throne and Liberty if you're fucking sick and tired of the same kind of mounts between all the MMOs. They have added an approach, you basically become the mount yourself. It's called shapeshifting and they have, then they offer you different transforms based off if you want to run faster or if you want to fly or even if you want to swim, you can become this little guy here. Throne and Liberty is also for you if you enjoy puzzle games and like to solve riddles. I do know that many players do not like those tasks at all and before you get frustrated on launch, you should check out my full Throne and Liberty walkthrough where I collected all the difficult tasks that you can face on your road to level 50 and made guides for every single one of them. So my final conclusion is, 
If you enjoy nice graphics and action-packed combat system paired with insanely large PvP wars and hanging out with all your guildmates all day long, then Throne and Liberty is definitely your MMO in 2024. Cheers!